Close the family. Welcome back to Larry's Anything Goes. Hopefully you guys are having a great and exceptional day. It is Wednesday. I was about to say Thursday, but it seems like another great fast week, fast track as we're making money moves and we're improving our lives. And, you know, with it being almost a third month into the year, do a great job before I even get into the word of the day and the quote of the day. Do a good job of letting go of things of the past. You know, uh, I've been thinking about a lot of things and, um, you know, our our past, whether it was good or bad, it needs to remain in our past. Let it be something that we've learned from, but let it be something that we're like, okay, I, it's, I've elevated from that. Uh, it's time to do better, you know, and the best way to elevate is to leave certain things alone. Great example, um, that one that one um, song, um, Big Things by Nas, back on this album, uh, I Am, the first Nas album I ever bought because I was late to getting into the rapper Nas, one of the greatest ever to do it and one of the greatest entrepreneurs ever to do it, not just a great rapper. But anyways, um, I remember he said, now nah, I ain't going to ride with y'all no more. I'm doing big things. Now nah, I ain't going to sit on that block no more. I'm doing big things. And that's just when, you know, it's not disrespecting anybody. It's not thinking that you're better than anybody. But there have certain things in this life, not just people, but things in this life have a season. Like I used to smoke cigarettes. I haven't smoked cigarettes since 2009, 10. And I'm happy about that. You know, so it's just like. Um, you know, going out every weekend. I've graduated from that. I don't do that every weekend. Even the people I used to socialize, I've graduated from them. I don't mess with them, a lot of them anymore because either they were too uptight because I'm from the DMV area, the, the home of uptight people, or two, uh, they just weren't trying to elevate to another level. Like, um, like especially at this point in my life, I don't really vibe with men that can't, um, I don't vibe with men that cannot um, hold an intellectual discussion. Who are I don't vibe with men who are comfortable with just being basic and just want to um, lounge around on a video game and social media and play around all the time um, that are not trying to elevate themselves and you know they feel like they've peaked at the age of 35 or 40. I don't vibe with men like that because that means you you'll be the first to complain about the cost of something or when a bill hap comes due but you don't have the money for it and then you cry cry a wolf you blame a politician or you blame your boss or you blame your wife i don't ride with me. i like men who are talking about business i like to be around men who are talking about elevation and investments um men who are talking about having intellectual discussions that can help us all elevate each other that's the kind of men i like to ride with so that's just my personal opinion on that one but anyways today's word of the day is rostrum r-o-s-t-r-u-m stands for elevated platform for public speaking Beautiful reason uh, I chose this word today is because the beautiful thing about social media is that it, it has allowed so many people to elevate themselves and, and it's a place for a lot of um, public speaking, whether for good or worse, whether you like it or not. Hey, people have their opinions. It's going to be what it's going to be. You have it, social media help make so many people successful content creators, successful uh, YouTubers, successful um, music artists, successful actors and actresses because they people do scenes and they put them online. Successful comedians, uh, you know, people who are just successful at being a mechanic or an electrician or in the medical field, people who are successful as being an insurance agent on any level. There are so many aspects to look at with the way that social media has helped elevated people's hopes, dreams, aspirations, and quote unquote investment slash businesses that it's a beautiful thing. So they have a rostrum. That's basically what it's called. It's a it's a digital platform for everybody to put themselves out there. And I love it. And even people I don't know, when I see that somebody has a business or has a passion for something, I share it on my social media platform because I want to see everybody win. And I want to see, pe to see people to not only make a good living and have a good life with their family, but I want people to be able to live in their purpose outside of just making a good living and providing for the family because people have been doing that since the beginning of time. So, but, but when you're able to add on that, add on a caveat known as living your best life and living your dream, man, it's, and being a, and being a part of a great team, boy, that, that just makes life that much more easier. I mean, better, not easier, but better. And when you wake up to a life that you're excited about, there's nothing, there's nothing great. There's not a greater feeling in the world in that aspect, but that's just my personal opinion. Today's quote of the day is by Tupac. He says, cause I think we can make it. In fact, I'm sure. And if you fall, stand tall and come back for more. And I was a person who up and down and straight up out of the gutter um, and made it because of his um, his mother and his intellect and his street credibility all at the same time. Unfortunately, you know, he was killed in Las Vegas uh, back in 1996. But when you when you fall, you still have to do your best to stand tall. That old saying, you got to wipe your face and get back up again. It's like life is like literally when people I think that's why people love competitive sports so much. Because life is literally like being in a boxing match, 
boxing, boxing ring, UFC ring, um, football field, basketball field, on um, basketball court. You are constantly competing against other people, whether you realize it or not. You are in a constant race against other people of all backgrounds, all shades and colors, sisters, brothers and mothers, fathers. Um, you are in a race with people all at the same time. But I but but remember, you it's easier for one to win when one is a part of a team. You know, the recent so like I said, I'm, if you've seen my content before, you know, I'm not a football. I don't watch sports at all. Uh, but I respect I have a lot of respect and, and admiration for the people who actually do play, because to be in to be a part of any national um, team, it's a lot of work. Even if you, quote unquote, ride the bench and things of that nature, it still takes a lot of work and skill for you to get there. So the Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl. All right. My favorite rapper, one of my favorite rappers is from Kansas City, um, Kansas and Kansas, Kansas City, Missouri, or as he calls Casey Mo Tech nine. And at the end of the day, um, that team won because of the team. That team didn't want, win because of one single person. And families win because of, of the team known as the family, not just one single person. And that's one thing I always give credit to people who immigrate to the United States, that utilizing family. Uh, like I said, you can make fun of people that have two to three to four families living up in a house, but when all that family has a goal. And I remember my older brother told me this. When that family all has a goal, one's a carpenter, one's an electrician, the other one's a lawyer, the other one's a doctor, the other one's a mechanic. One, they don't have to worry about um, calling anybody to get work done on the house. They say but they just got to buy the materials and do the work themselves. But then two, you got 10 to 15, 20 paychecks in a household. Then you got older uh, elders in the house and you got to worry about babysitting any parent out there knows that if you ain't got to worry about baby paying for babysitting that saves you a whole heck of a lot of money and then plus when you're able to own a majority of a multitude of cars businesses homes because everybody's fan in the family getting a credit right and their money right and everybody's dipping into the pot and everybody's got hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank account they're making some money moves and that's the one misnomer in the western world that too many people have fallen into they lose economically because they just have the, well, we're just going to do for self. You do you, I'm going to do me, and we're never going to come together and make things happen. But it's just, corporate America doesn't have one person running the corporation. They have a multitude of running the corporation, multitude of people running it, multitude of people that own the corporation. So the team thing works. You just got to be a part of the right team. So on that note, do the great three things. Like, share, and subscribe. Have a great day. And as I always say, make money moves or you're going to lay bro like a fool. Take